introduce your podcast like well hello there yes it's, i'm it's, it's lily k <laughs> <laughs> no no that's that's your job you're katie that's fair that's fair sorry that's sorry, sorry. <laughs> you you're the one who introduces us because we, we are not capable of saying our apologies own names. It's yeah, fine. yeah that's lily lily k fantastic artist and that's that's not katie that's pagan just yeah like, hi you know uh, what are you talking about Wait, I'm confused. I need to do some British accent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and Pagan over there is getting very, very famous. Yes. No? Yes. Not at all. Yes. <laughs> Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> like, course. No. <laughs> it's getting Not there. It's going to happen. You're going to wake up um, maybe this year or maybe next year and you're going to have like a million followers. And everybody's going to be like, Pagan. If I was... In the same position as Joe Quinn, maybe. <laughs> like, I'm hoping one day that I would get a role that would change my life like Joe Quinn had with Eddie. That I, would be the dream. You know, that's all that we dream about. I, I think it's... That's the dream. It's a, Just it's one a role will change your life, man. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Although, I don't know how much he enjoys it, to be fair. <clears throat> I was there for I the wouldn't, Comic-Con. Yeah. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't enjoy that bit. Like, I really wouldn't. I don't think I would enjoy the insane amount of people and pressure i don't think i would enjoy that bit but i enjoy that he's getting uh to play with metallica i'm oh, getting yes. like i love that he's getting to meet some of his idols like i think that's wonderful for him and it's going to open so many doors for him as an actor so fair play and, and he deserves it he's f- absolutely he does great. he's yeah he's fucking great and he's such a genuine soul like you know i already talked about this but not with you so i can talk about it again <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but if anybody isn't aware, we're talking about Joseph Quinn, who's in Stranger Things, is Eddie Munson. Yes, and he's just great. in case somebody's living under a rock somewhere. Well, there are some people like that, so you know there definitely are. Yeah, <laughs> so it's all good. We can talk about him. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, he's just such a genuine soul. Like, I mean, just look at that uh, whole me thing with Metallica and and his pure joy. It's, it's wonderful. So wholesome, like. Oh my god! Can you imagine? Oh my god! So good. It's just so Incredible. good. We don't have a topic for today, by the way. Just so you yeah, we just know. started rambling about Joseph Quinn. This is gonna be the Joseph Quinn podcast. Um, we always end up talking about guys, Bacon. Just so you know. You know oh, seven, we can talk seven. about women. I'm <laughs> fine with that too. I mean, me too. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely fine with talking about women. Who are we gonna Who are we gonna phone over this time? I don't know. Angelina Jolie. <laughs> that works as well. <laughs> that hot little redhead on your podcast. Where'd no. she go? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She left us. Very rude. sad. Very sad. Very so rude. sad. <laughs> no, it's okay. She's she's having a break. A tiny little a little bit of holiday. Good. Uh, so it's you know it's well deserved. Well deserved. She worked hard. Uh, so yeah, we don't we don't have the redhead here. Uh, we that's have you, okay. and that's me. That's awesome. We always love to have you here. I always ah, thank you. <laughs> you're my you're always my first pick. I'm like, oh, Katie's not here. Let's message Pagan. <laughs> <laughs> is Pagan free? <laughs> and here I'm you always are. a sub. And here you are. But uh, but before we get into the the movie and uh, whatever topic, and I think we're gonna play a little game as well. Oh. Um just I was so shit at the game that you played with me last time, though. <laughs> I was deplorable. You were right. Oh, it, it was fine. It was that's. What it's it, fine. I was easing into it. It's fine. Just. It was a rough start. Yeah. We'll, we'll, be, we'll do better today. Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Much it's better. Fine. It's, it's yeah. going to be up in your alley. Let's put it that way. Great. Perfect. Yeah. That fine. also sounds so bad. I feel like you phrased <laughs> it wrong. You phrased it so wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> Cause it's not your first language. It's fine. It's right up your alley is, is probably better. Right up in your alley is. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Different. I did phrase it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's something, something a little uh, less kosher. <laughs> Uh, look, it's not my first language. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's no problem. We, we forgive you. I'm not that. Um, I have hay fever, by the way. I have like severe allergies and I've taken medicine, but oh, it just keeps coming back. So my nose is oh, very no. itchy and my throat's quite like itchy. So if I'm doing this a whole, it's actually me like scratching my throat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. You're already on the, on the Joe, Joe Quinn path because he has hay fever and that interview where that poor thing just. Oh my god, I I felt so bad, and I was like, if I had been anywhere in the vicinity, I would have been like, here, here are the golden tablets that you need because I have them. I yeah. just I have them. They're called Telfast. They're nice. the best and only thing in the world that ever works for me. And I could have just been like, here you go, bud. I felt so awful that I nobody know. got him strong enough antihistamines. 
Oh, that poor guy. <sighs> and everyone told at first that he was crying. <laughs> I know, God, and you know, it's awful because my eyes do that too, but they have like, they itch really bad. And then yeah. it makes me want to like, it makes me want to drive something through my eyes. It's so, so bad. But I also got eye drops from, from Boots. So I gutted, gutted. Whoever does his like PR or whatever, who was with him that day. Do a better job. Listen, just do a better job or hook, like, call me. I will tell you where to get the stuff. Call Pagan. Your list. I suffer so badly with it. It's awful. Yeah, so just call so Pagan and, and she's going to help. Yeah, I'll Easy. help you with all your hay fever needs. There you go. That's, you know, maybe yeah, that's going to be your <laughs> big role, big baby. That's my big through. role. It's just uh, it's just uh, being Joe's sidekick <laughs> yeah. with all the hay fever meds. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Look, it works. I'm not mad about it. it yeah, works. it's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah. So so before before we get into this, this, all right, okay. this chaos of madness else. and whatever, yeah. uh, um, you, you, I wanted to talk about your, your, your channel a little bit uh, because <sighs> okay. we, keep, we keep forgetting to do that. And, and, you know, I watched a lot of YouTube channels and whenever there's someone coming on, uh, I should be asking you questions like, you know. Uh, you, you. I mean, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been reacting to one of my favorite things in the whole world, K-pop, lately. Yeah, and I, I enjoy them so much. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you like them. As oh, like, as, as a friend of mine who is a K-pop fan, I'm really happy that you enjoy that kind of stuff. That's really oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, it's good to know, hear. Uh, I was so happy that you reacted to Stray Kids. And maniac. Oh, dude, I fucking <laughs> love Stray Kids so much. I've actually just finished filming a reaction to their newest uh, song, oh. Time Out. Oh, oh, so that'll be on okay. my channel later today. Not when you're recording this, it'll already be up. But um, or when you're, this is out, it'll already be up. But yeah, I'm put very it, excited. Put it down I love, there. So can... Yeah, I love them. I think they're they're so good. Yeah. Such a good band. Oh my Group. god. Oh my god. They yeah. are, they are just awesome. And you know, Maniac is legendary because the reactions to that, like I was the same. I was like. <laughs> I can't, I just can't believe like had I, I I was wondering like how I would have reacted listening to it without seeing it like without seeing a video how would I have reacted to that would I have had such a strong reaction I feel probably not like I Pro feel yeah. like I would have had a less of a strong reaction because I wouldn't have seen it because Felix is such a baby face oh my god that it's just such like a baby I didn't face. expect <laughs> like I didn't expect him to and he's so young he's like 21 or 22 and you're yep. like bro your voice is probably only going to get deeper. Like, how is this possible? Oh, um, God. Yeah, so that's, it was really fun. It was a fun, fun reaction to do. And then it uh, just sort of spiraled. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Like, I, I first saw it on TikTok and I was like, oh, Pagan is reacting to K-pop? Yeah, I didn't work at TikTok, actually, to be fair. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I, was, I, I immediately went to your channel and I was like, I need to see it. <laughs> I reacted. You know, it's it's a different word. Like, we, I don't think... European or or the US is is used to K-pop uh, just yet. Like we we are slowly getting yeah. there, and uh, and it's always like so much fun to see how people react to it. And, like you know, I wish I kind of wish that someone do this with their uh, TV shows and movies mm -hmm. because you know I'm a big fan of Korean. I actually would love to do it. I just don't know what the copyright is on all that kind yeah. of stuff. Like. I've just watched the first ever episode, the first ever episode. Well, the first ever episode for me for K drama, and it's um the Netflix crash landing on you. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> so I've just watched the first episode, and it's wonderful. It, it is, is so so good. But logistically, trying to think about how I would ever react to something like that, because if you couldn't react, you couldn't upload the whole episode, right? Because you're gonna yeah. get copyright strike. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be taken down. So I was like, okay, so then you'd have to react to small bits of the episode. But that means you have hours and hours and hours yeah. and gigabytes upon gigabytes of footage yep. that you just have to clip really short. Uh, so I don't know if that every possibility for me, maybe on shorter K-pop dramas, but I'm enjoying it. I've just watched the first episode, like I said, and it's, it's yep. so good. It is. It hooks you right from the beginning. Yep. Yep. Um, and I loved Squid Game last year that came out. So oh, yeah, God, yes. I'm fucking, I'm on board. I'm, I'm going to give you a whole list of uh, KTV K, K that you can watch and movies as well. That'd be great. And I actually really want to watch, ever since we had a podcast about it, and I'm, you've mentioned it before. Yes. I've always wanted to watch, um, is it Train to Busan? Train to Busan, yeah. I really want to watch, it's a zombie film, right? It is, yeah. My favorite. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. Um, yes, so please. yeah. Link me where I can find it. Is it on Netflix? No. 
maybe. I I know that we don't have it on Netflix here in Hungary, but maybe the UK has it. So okay. Uh, but yeah, that was one of the things that I'd love to I'd love to think. Oh yes, please. I I I can't wait to hear what you think. Like I made Katie watch it by uh, basically buying it for her on Blu-ray. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> and I was like, That's now fair. you have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have no excuse now. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> That's fair. That's it's fair. you know, it's it's a fantastic movie. It's I can't shut up about it because it's so great, and uh, it's the reason. Well, it's one of the reasons I fell in love with uh, 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 Korean movies and 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 TV as well, and uh, one of their best TV shows ever for me personally. I said that it's it's not like a fact that I am putting out there. I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. Oh God, let's not get into that. <laughs> let's not get into that. Uh, like, it's know. Kingdom. It's it's a Netflix original series they did, and it's also a zombie um, uh, series. Oh, so it's very fucking good. Okay, very fucking good. I love that show so much. We we actually had an episode on it. I will link that down as well. I hope I won't forget to link all these things. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna remember when you're editing. Be like, oh. Um. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's gonna be that. me as well so it's you know okay okay you're gonna remember then yeah fine. i'm just gonna I'm, I'm just writing things up just like, write it down and it's just in case yeah 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 yeah, yeah we just I, will, write it I will link down your new video your channel go and subscribe to pagan and subscribe to us as uh, well we are very fun <laughs> yeah if you're interested in reactions specifically keep up with me minute this way yes uh what yeah i am pointing uh, at you oh okay yes <laughs> um but yeah so if you're interested in k-pop reactions particularly now but in ja- general reactions or gameplay yeah yeah then yeah you can, you can that's that's big and, subscribe yeah. yeah do that and like and uh turn on the notifications and whatnot we need to get better at this <laughs> we do we do I, to be fair i feel like as soon as i start it though like i'll get on to like a you know the automatic one that you do at the end of video yes. like i have an automatic one that i do at the end of videos now so it's it's hard for me not to rattle it off like that it's like oh I need to I need to rein it in because I sound like a robot now. Fair, 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 fair. All right, let's get into the movie topic and TV shows, whatever. Um, I have this wonderful question that I always ask Katie. So since you're okay. not Katie, oh. um, yeah, I, I will still ask you. <laughs> okay. So my question is, Pagan, what did you watch last week? It's very important. Um, so. I am watching on Apple TV Plus. Yes. For All Mankind. Okay. That is such a great show. Okay. Uh, it's a television show. It's in a third season right now. Mm-hmm. Um, that is pretty much all I watched last week. I'm addicted to like YouTube channels because they're short form. So like I can watch 15 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour or whatever. Fair. Um, but recently the two, the only two kind of content things Oh, well, to be fair, I watched movies as well. Okay, so I'll, gi- I'll give you a list. So yes. there was um, uh, obviously Crash Landing on You on Netflix, which is, I only watched the first episode. Amazing. Love it so far. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Um, the second thing was all- For All Mankind, which is an a- Apple TV Plus um, TV show. It's in the third season at the minute. So good. High recommend. Yes. The third kind of thing that I'll loop together is The Mummy and The Mummy Return. Like the original ones, then the original ones, nice. yeah. So we nice. watched the two of those, kind of last week, maybe mm-hmm. a little little later into the other week, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So those are kind of the f- the only kind of bits of content that I've watched in maybe the last two. Do you even have time to <laughs> watch anything? No, I'm not even joking. You know, I don't. It's awful, and I I will listen to, um, sometimes podcasts, but sometimes I because I want something on the background. Yes. I'll, I'll I'll recommend something to you. So I have I want something on the background, but I don't want to like uh, have a heavy focus on it because I'm usually listening to it if I'm at work or if I'm doing something else. Like if I'm uh, on here and I'm doing admin or something, I want to like listen to something else. Yes, there is a YouTube channel that I absolutely love. Her name is Kian Choi, and she does like vlogs living in Korea, and she just does like cafe hopping in Korea and cafe hopping in Seoul and. It's such a wonderful channel and I just love to hear, like she uses a lot of aesthetic, um, beautifully framed shots. Mm -hmm. Um, She's very like aesthetic as well, like in terms of her style and her coloring, if that makes sense. So like she wears like a lot of beiges or whites or grays and soft blues, like it's really lovely. And it's just soothing. It's soothing to watch and soothing to listen to. And she's just a great little uh, YouTuber. I say little YouTuber, it's like 170,000 subscribers. (laughs) Um, But it's 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 a great channel that I could just put on kind of in the background. Even if I've seen the vlogs before, 
Yeah. Because there's such like calming vlogs about Korea. She's just walking around Korea and going cafe shopping or uh, cafe hopping or, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. Oh, that's so cool. So, so yeah, so that, that would be anything that I can consume while I'm working. Other than that, then I just don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. So you're a busy bee. Yeah. You're a busy bee. Um, yeah. yeah I, if, if, if I turn on YouTube, uh, it's always different. Uh, but uh, I usually jump scare myself with Jack Septica. <laughs> like, I'm not even lying. <laughs> like, you know, th- he's doing a gameplay. Uh, he's doing uh, to my. Oh, I love that so much. He's doing Until Dawn again, which is one of my oh, favorite games. Oh, I loved games. Until Dawn. Yes, great game. So good. And he's replaying it because you know, after the quarry, he was like, "Is it really? It was it really that good that I remember, or should I?" So he got oh, into it again. Okay. And- okay. <laughs> He keeps jump scaring me like I'm literally sitting here drawing and then he screams for something and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's such a good game. It is such a good game. I I love Until Dawn. And it is. It is as Same. good as, as he remembers, I believe. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking about this last night when we were doing Get Good with uh, Todd and Liam. Yes. And Todd has never played Until Dawn <gasps> and he's loving the quarry. He's absolutely loving the quarry. So so I was like, dude, you have to play Until Dawn mm-hmm. because I feel like as good as the quarry is until dawn for me is better and i was like you just you have to play it like i think like there's you know difference of opinions i'm sure oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but for me i think until dawn so far has been better i've only gotten into like four hours or something like this so yeah i'm interested to see what his reaction is but i also had that moment that i was like is that really as good as i remember it to be right and then i was thinking about it and i was like oh yeah and then the oh yeah and then there's this part and you're like oh yeah (laughs) so i yeah as soon as i started remembering it i loved it and i one of my favorite games of all time is in vr and it's rush of blood okay yeah 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 yeah. i Um, about that love that one of my favorite games of all time so i feel like because they're two those two are connected then yeah uh, yeah 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 yeah. the game jacksepticeye huh yeah i can't help it i just i love his voice who who can who can when it comes to sean eh that's that's completely yeah. fair. That's yeah. Fair. I mean, I named one of my characters in the book. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Sean? Did you yeah, Sean, Sean, yeah. Sean? Oh, amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Didn't know it was after uh, McLaughlin, but that's cool. Yeah. There yeah, you go. Yeah. That's a secret I just revealed because I don't Here think Katie go. even knows or <laughs> anyone who read no it. No way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why he's Sean. One of my ah, characters He's, a, he's such yeah. a fucking, such a fucking legend. Like, I love he his is. YouTube channel and I don't know. I'd love to meet him one day. Just have a chat. Oh, just be be like, so let's nice. talk about Ireland and content creating. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would love that, to be fair. He'd Maybe. We'll see. we'll see. Maybe one day. One day. One day. It's mm. going to happen. It's going to happen. Like, you know, yeah. I didn't think yeah. that I will. Does be. he like K pop? Well, like, <laughs> what, what's the connection here? Can we call Jack Snapchat guy? We can find out. <laughs> we can find out. I'll find out somehow. Just let's t- find I'll start, it out. I'll just start tweeting. <laughs> yeah. Do you like K pop? Day one, shooting my shot. <laughs> but look it worked with ryan reynolds for some people so you can never know just keep that's true just keep tweeting that's my plan mm-hmm. as well i really want to talk with ryan reynolds dude, dude <laughs> i would so love cool. to meet him fuck oh, he's so cool he's so cool he's i swear an awful lot i'm so sorry do you have to bleep this out no 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 you can swear i don't okay. mind it's fine i swear a lot okay i was just gonna be like if you have to bleep this out we don't Fuck care me, about I guess. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. It's all good. Um, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So Jack Septic guy for me. Uh, I didn't have time to watch movies either. I'm like, that's fair. What a surprise! What a surprise! Yeah. <laughs> Just busy, like you fucking life, you know? Yeah, life, life happens. Life happens. Uh, I did. Uh, I did start Black Sails, which is you know we we did Ooh. this promise uh, with Katie. I watch Black Sails. Uh, she's watching Lost in Space, which my which is my favorite show. And then we're gonna talk about them again. And and we are hoping that there's an actor who's in both Toby oh. Stevens, and he's fucking great. Um, I know him. Of course I, well, not. Is. I don't know fucking. <laughs> I don't know. I you know what I mean. Like I don't know him personally. <laughs> Gotcha. I just know who you're talking about. Yes. Uh, he's, yes. He's great. And and uh, after we finish, hopefully we can invite him uh, for a little interview. No That's way. The plan. That's the plan. Get out of town. That would be fucking awesome. Oh, my God. I would cry. <laughs> I <Dude>. always do <laughs> this. That would be amazing, though. Can you oh, imagine? He's so great. He's so freaking Wait, great. what? Well, what did you find? Share. I was looking at his... No. 
I was looking at his IMDb and it says his parents are Robert Stevens, Patricia Quinn, and Maggie Smith. How is Maggie Smith linked to? That's interesting. She's been married twice to actor Robert Stevens. Oh. Oh. New information. I didn't wow. know that. I didn't know that. And Patricia Quinn, of course, Northern Irish. Yes. Um, famously from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Indeed. indeed but indeed. Uh, yeah, holy. Okay. So Ooh. I guess I guess Maggie Smith must be his stepmom. Probably, yeah. Patricia Quinn is his actual mom. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that is dope. That's cool. Sorry. Okay. New, Thanks, new... Toby Stevens, for a fun fact. Yes, we love that. We love fun <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah, we love here. that. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's the plan, and I think that's. Is it the only thing I watched? I can't. I can't even remember if I watched anything. Did I watch anything? No, I didn't. Yeah, it's so bad. No? I usually just scroll through like social media sometimes if I'm like eating. Yeah. But the majority of the time now, it's like, it's YouTube. And you know, somebody said this to me the other day and yeah. I was like, I rolled my eyes real hard. But anyway, <laughs> um, they're like a zillennial, if you know what I mean. So like they're mixed between Gen Z and zillennial, like they came in that era. And they're like, ah, it's actually only millennials that watch YouTube now. And I was like, excuse me, excuse me. What? I was like, I feel like there's billions of people on that platform that would beg to differ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think they, they are all millennials. Like. Wild, wild <laughs> accusation. And then uh, she got, she went on to explain that she only watches like Instagram reels and TikTok now. And then I was like, okay, well, that kind of makes sense. A lot of people would just have short form like attention span now. So they're just like, okay, well, seven to eight seconds of a TikTok and they keep scrolling. That's but true. man, just just throw on a YouTube channel. Like start listening to a podcast. My God. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I um, to be fair, I only just recently started being like YouTube obsessed because I can okay. just literally put it on the background. And then whenever I'm, I'm drawing something, I can just go on and I can just listen to it. And, and it's all good. Yeah, see, I don't do that. I suck. Because this is a pencil. This is a pen, by the way. I don't know. Okay. It looked really weird on camera. <laughs> <laughs> it looked strange on camera because it's pink. It's, it's a pink good. pencil with, like, pink pen with, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'll put it down. It's something that I fiddle, fiddle with. Um, I can't do that. What I tend to do is get so overly obsessed with the YouTube channel that I can't stop watching okay. that YouTube channel. Okay. And I don't know if that's, like, just a component of, like, ADHD that I have or something, but... maybe. Um, recently I discovered Sam and Colby. Do you know of these guys? I'm not sure. Okay. So they are, um, younger guys, kind of like me and you literally like, probably in their late twenties, early thirties, I'd say. Okay. okay. Right. Okay. Um, I don't even know if they are 30 yet, but anyway, they're kind of like, they're, they're going to be between that age. Right. They're, I think millennials. So they started a YouTube channel a few years ago where they go and, um, investigate haunted houses or haunted properties. Of course I know stuff. them right of course i know them so yes. <laughs> fucking good i'm obsessed with that channel because i know i know that part of their like their whole shtick is entertainment right yes, like i totally yeah. understand that they're they're doing a lot of it for entertainment yes i don't care like i don't come <laughs> in and be like oh that's fake and i was like well yeah it's yeah. for entertainment they're just doing it really well and i was like this is literally called the movie like it's the, one of their their actual titles is like an hour long and it's like the witch's forest or whatever, yeah, yeah, the yeah, full yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's like the clue is in the title, friends. It is. <laughs> but I just, uh, I love, I just love their channel. I love this stuff, and yeah. some of it obviously isn't fake or it isn't hyped up. And then you know, it's kind of like left to what you believe in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just love it. I just think they're so entertaining. Love their YouTube channel. Cannot get enough of it. And then what happened was it like it eventually went into. Uh, K-pop and Korean culture and yeah. then I was listening to all that and then I got a recommendation for two types of videos which are usually like the walking vlogs of mm -hmm. um, Korea mm -hmm. and then uh, Kyun Choi's channel so now I just can't stop watching Kyun Choi. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's completely fair. I can't honest. just I can't seem to like I don't know I just can't seem to just randomly keep putting on some stuff on YouTube or like floating through channels. I find a channel that I'm really like and I'm like shit and then I just like hours of time watch every movie or every upload since yeah. the dawn of time. Yeah. yeah 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 oh yeah yeah i i completely agree uh i am now uh at an obsessive level funnily enough with um another haunted 
channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's uh, Nukes Top 5, which is like, you know... He, What's he, it called? Nukes uh, Top 5. Nukes Top 5. Okay, yeah. I'm going to have and a he, look. And he collects uh, all these ghost videos and whatnot from the internet. And then his narration is so I fucking good. I want to react to that. <laughs> and it's, it's just... Oh, I can send you the best episode to react to. Like, proper... Deal proper fucking chills <laughs> like um yeah i i definitely want to do that um oh my god yes please i beg you like i want to join <laughs> i'm done. just i i love him so much and i love how he talks because he gets you hyped up and and he gets you into the mood like like you know and it, he has like a very soothing voice so mm-hmm. every time uh, now his upload is a bit like messed up so it's not like regularly like uh, okay. maybe once every month but uh, um, you know last year and the year before that he was uploading regularly so there are like a lot of cool stuff out there Shit, from I him and it's that. so good so good I just I can't stop watching him every time yeah. he uploads I'm immediately putting everything away and I'm like oh <laughs> yes new episode <laughs> Are they long episodes? Uh, they usually like uh, twenty to thirty minutes. Or, okay, but there are like ten minutes ones out there as well. Like especially the early days are like ten. Oh my minutes. god! They're like oh my god! Two million views like yep. on every video. Yep. <laughs> oh no! Y- you have to react. You have to react to him. I will. I'm, I I want to do a lot of um, like I want to do like creepy pastas, and I want to yes. do a little bit more of the horror vibe as well. Because although it's terrifying, it is kind of fun. It's so much fun. As you know what? Uh, yeah, it is kind of fun. It is. You know why I love the the quarry? Because they they pulled in the podcast as well. And I was like, yes, I I need a podcast like that. I'm not gonna lie. Like, just I just want to listen people uh, figuring out like where is Bigfoot or or uh, are these killings are like you know ghosts and demons mm-hmm. and whatnot. And I I just always like I know it's like you know a lot of time. It's a, it's a you decide situation. Like, do you believe it? Is it is it real? Is it true? Yeah. Uh, but I just I don't know. I love freak shit like that. Like, so do I. I can I I kind of do and I kind of don't. Like, I, I wouldn't particularly go see a horror movie or something. But when stuff like that comes up on the internet, I'm like, ooh, I could could watch that. You could, you could, yeah. Scared the shit out of myself, obviously. Not <laughs> of course. Things, but but uh, but mostly. <laughs> like... it's, it, it really is fun um, yeah. there's uh, one guy uh, Nukes is following him like you know it, he always ends up in his videos and his story I think he, he does have his separate YouTube channel of course but okay. his story is so fucking scary like every time it freaks me out and I honestly believe I honestly believe that it's real because I don't know how else to explain what's happening in his videos. It's freaky. It's it's unbelievable at points. But I'm like, this must be real. I don't. I want to live in. You have to send that to me. I don't know. I what will. That, oh, yeah, that's. I love that kind of stuff. I love that. Like so fascinating. Because it's the unknown, right? Like it's, it is. It's a total unknown. It's like, do you believe in ghosts? And yeah. there's a lot of people who are like hardcore, not. And then there's a lot of other people who were hardcore, like yeah, kind of. Yeah. So actually, there was a poll recently that uh, Adam had sent me somewhere that someone put out and was basically like, do you believe in supernatural? So there was like 100% yes. Um, the other one was like, no, absolutely not. And then there were two in-betweens. Like, mm. yes, I've experienced it myself. Or I don't believe we have enough information. Yep. So it was like kind of like on the fence of either, right? So yes, uh, 100%, it's happened to me. Yes, but I've only heard other people's stories. No, it's never happened. No, I don't believe we don't have enough evidence. And 50% were just hardcore. Nope. Yep. But there was a good 50% in the other categories, which all insinuated that they did kind of believe. Yeah. So it's so interesting. It's such a polarizing topic. It is. It is. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm on the end that I experienced it. I don't know if I ever told this story. Like, interesting. I, I, I think, did I talk about it with you? Is it about the pub in London? Yeah, that one as well. But I, I do have oh, okay. another one. I <laughs> do have, no. Okay, we, we, we talked about the pub as well. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, the other one uh, happened when I was like 13, I think. And okay. it happened here in this room. It scared the shit out of me. I'm not going to lie. And you're lie. still there? Yes. <laughs> 
I'm a crazy lady. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm you're just sure. friends with the ghost now? Yeah, yeah, we're just, we're just buddies that's now. That's fair, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. It's, it's yeah. a nice ghost. People, you move past it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so it was like, it was right around the time, actually, uh, when I got really obsessed with the uh, with the whole thing. Like, obviously, I was 13, so I couldn't watch movies that were like, you know, okay. scary and whatnot. Uh, but I always sneaked around and <laughs> got a little sneak peek at things. And uh, I remember that one of the movies that my brother watched uh, downstairs at night was uh, about a, a seance. And, uh, you know, um, I don't know which movie it was. Don't ask me that. But basically, I was like, oh, I can do that. I just need a candle. I just have to sit down and I just have to call out to the ghost three times. And then, you know, it's all going to be good. You just did that by yourself <laughs> yes. as a 13-year-old in yeah. your room? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, Lily, you're I, unhinged. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> um, but basically, I have a door right in front of me okay. as I'm sitting here. I have uh -huh. the window above me, so like, you know, on the ceiling. And then I have this tiny little door uh, uh, here on the side. And that leads uh, like next to our chimney. So if there's any uh, ever any problem, they can just come through here. They don't have to go up to the roof. Uh, oh, they can check it through okay. here. So it's always closed. So I know that this one is always closed. Obviously, I see if this one is closed or open, uh, the yeah. window, and this the door was closed. So I just sat in the middle, like, just right here, and I was like, uh, ghost, oh ghost, if you're here, please give me a sign. And I said it three times, and I'm not sure, I, I nearly pissed myself, I'm not even kidding. Like, I remember so vividly that I no, just stop. sat here, I opened my eyes, and suddenly, it wasn't like the little thing on yeah. the flame like just flickering it was like whoosh, just whoosh like someone just fucking blow out the candle and i was like ah <laughs> just run out of my room just immediately my dad was freaking out like what the fuck happened and uh, and then i told him what i did and and he said that i'm an idiot <laughs> Oh my god, and he didn't believe you. No, not at all. Not oh, at all. No. And I was like I was like it it, 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 it couldn't have been the window, it was closed, it, it, it couldn't have been the door, it was closed, everything was closed, like oh my god, what happened? And I was so freaked out for two weeks I couldn't sleep in this room. I was yeah, like, no, that yeah. would make me leave the house. I would kill it with fire, just burn it down. Like yeah. there's no saving the house now. Nope. Um, we're gonna just, just have to move to a different country. Yes. That's just how that is. Yeah, it is. No. It is. It is. And uh, and of course, my mom likes to make these things worse. <laughs> because I don't know she's just great at it and she was like actually um uh our neighbor just lost her daughter and I was like what the fuck, <laughs> what the fuck is she doing in my room <laughs> I was so freaked out for like two weeks fuck I was that. like no 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 I'm gonna be I'm gonna get possessed I'm gonna be that is so so wild. Like it's so funny. We were just having this conversation the other night there when my mom came over to visit, and she was saying that the house that we lived in South Africa, the bungalow, yeah. she felt like that was haunted. She felt like she always felt in the corridor of the house that there was like, and it's just like a hallway, right? And then there's like two bedrooms off the left, um, a bathroom and a separate toilet area on the right, and then straight at the end of the hallway is like an office. Yeah, a very it's a relatively small hallway. Like yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah. go on that long. Um. And my mom was like, I always felt like someone was moving past me or something like that in the hallway. And like, I was like, oh, it could just be a draft or whatever. And my mom yeah. turned to me and she was like, did you ever experience anything in that house? Like, did you, did you feel anything there? And I was there until I was seven. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, not that I can re recollect, but only two things. Like the first thing was that I used to have nightmares in the spare room. Oh. So when only I was in the, spare, the spare room. room, yeah, for some reason. So when I was in the spare room, I used to, but I would uh, um, associate that with being very hot. So at hot, like maybe that room was just particularly warmer at nighttime. Mm. And the bed was like kind of against that side of the wall, if that yeah. makes sense, like yeah. against where the, the window is. Yeah. And the other room that I moved to, the bed was like away from the window. So I just associated it with being super warm. And I would get the, do you know, I think it's called trypophobia or something like that. Yeah, yeah, the, fear, yeah. the fear of small circles. So I would be away looking at my ceiling and I could see uh like kind of almost like this pattern right but like think about yeah. it circular mm -hmm. and then the fact that it's like glowing in certain parts like where the light's hitting it that's what i would see but like almost circular patterns and then it was like almost like a wave of stuff that's happening over the ceiling of this bedroom God. and again i would just associate this with being warm but i wasn't 
I wasn't asleep. That's my problem. Like I wasn't asleep. I was just awake lying there in the semi-darkness looking at this. So I've always thought that it was like, I was just really warm and it's probably mm. me seeing my own blood vessels. You know, when you can kind of like, when you kind of get dazed or whatever, yeah, yeah, if yeah. You, you can see your own blood moving in your eyes. I feel like that might've been what it was, but it only really ever happened in the spare room. And then my mom uh, or my dad used to tell me that, um, cause, cause Christian is my twin brother and he was kind of like, I always am like, oh, he's the favorite t- child. And they're like, no, he's just a child that demanded more attention. Like he was just a troublesome kid. <laughs> um, he would just always be doing something bad. So I was like, well, where was I? And dad was like, you were always in the room, in the spare room. And he's like, and you're always just talking to what you, what you said were angels. You were just saying, I'm talking to the angels or I'm talking to the ladies or the fairies. Um, uh, in the spare room and I would always just be sitting there because that's where my room was until yeah. I moved when I was a little older like maybe five and then okay. I moved into the myself and Christian I think swapped rooms or no we actually got a uh, single bed yeah in, yeah in another room we moved into the same room and then that yeah. spare room just became a spare room so yeah interestingly enough I feel like I may have had a brush with it that I wasn't aware of but I didn't and then when my aunt passed in 2019 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was in her house and I was in her house my mom and my grandmother at the time left this was only like the day after or even the day of yeah this could have been the day of okay and they left and I heard my voice (gasps) like I heard someone call like someone called me and it it and was, it was my your name. voice? It just sounded like familiar. Skin and I was okay. like, that's so strange. Like, I don't, like, I was like, I don't know how to, I, I was just sitting there in, in this, in this like uh, conservatory area. And I was just God. like, was it grief? I don't know. Like, but I heard my voice and it was so, Fuck off. <laughs> I, I'm, I have chills. I have chills thinking oh about this because. I, do, I can't explain that. I don't know how or why or how, just what happened. And my, my aunt tragically died. Like she was, yeah. uh, she was ill. Yeah. So it yeah, wasn't yeah. like she was super old or anything. She yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just, it shook me like oh to I, my core. I would have run out of the house, just <laughs> run until I die or something. But, but it was so familiar. So I feel like there's a conflict there because you're like, that shouldn't have happened. But also you don't feel threatened. You don't feel afraid. You don't? Like, no, that for me. Did you see the video? Okay, okay, here's the thing. Uh, there's a video on TikTok. Okay. It's very, it's very creepy. Like, it's probably my first time where I'm like, I have horrible goosebumps from it, just even thinking about it. It's basically the guy wakes up at night and uh, and he's like, guys, guys, I. I, I'm not joking. I, I think I can hear my own voice, but that's not possible because I'm I'm here. How can I hear my own voice? And he opens the bedroom door. You can see an aisle and, uh, and then two other doors. And one of the doors is like slightly open. Yeah. He says that that's the bathroom. And then suddenly you can hear him from there. Like, come here, come here. I want to talk. And he, he just runs back into the bedroom, just slams the door. And I was like, <laughs> no, no. So if so I would, if I would hear my own voice saying whatever, like even my own name, like Lily, just here, I would freak the fuck out. <laughs> I would be like, ah, I don't fuck. know. That, yeah, but it's different. I feel like there's a different, there's a different vibe associated with it. Like, because I, I don't know. I, that TikTok doesn't sound super sus, like super legit to me, if I'm honest. But um, like, I don't think he's throwing his voice. I think like he could have just been editing that. Of course, but. But like to have it in real life where I just like, it just sounded so familiar that it like, and my aunt's voice kind of sounds like mine. So I was kind of like, well, it's a little, little weird, but it was just my name. It yeah. was whispered and it yeah. just felt familiar. So I was like, that's really weird. And then I thought, because it was my, I thought my mom and my grandmother hadn't left. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. And then there was no back. response back. Yeah. Cause I, th- I thought they hadn't left. God, and then would... I thought maybe I've misheard it and I <laughs> yeah. thought it was just my mom because again like we're just we're close family right so th- like my yeah. mom and my yeah. aunt were the same so I was like this is strange and then th- nobody and I was like hello did you guys leave and there was no response back and I was like 
oh <laughs> that's horrifying um and then i think i like cried or something but i didn't run away like it wasn't a scary experience yeah. it was just a really unsettling experience because i was like like that shouldn't have happened that that was weird um yeah i mean now i probably would be like uh-huh. <laughs> freaked out uh i mean yeah. yeah i i think if it only happens once and you know the, your reaction is i think it's quite reasonable like you know calling back like yeah or, or something just like you know yeah because you, you just get, think yeah, yeah someone called you like who was yeah. in the house with you uh i don't know i don't know if i would if i, would, I heard it again i would be yeah pretty uh terrified that house would have not, not surprised like yep. no it's just not. um it's a no Very situation. Cool. It's a no situation. I read something recently that people were like, "You don't have lo- you don't have haunted location. You have haunted people." That's so true. That is so true. That like, is why so would true. why would some random person be haunting this establishment? You're wrong. It's just not that person. No. It's somebody who's following you. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, I think I think that's that what you will podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's a haunted podcast. They just yeah, it's a haunted one. podcast. You're it's welcome. fine. Um, there's there's a, a movie about this actually. That you know, it's it's not uh, the place that is obviously there's insidious where we know that you know it's the kid who's haunted and yeah. and it's not the house, so it it doesn't matter if they move. It's the kid, yeah. the child, uh, yeah, yeah. But there's like uh, there's another one, and I'm not gonna remember. Uh, the title but it just recently came out like i think last year oh um the, i was gonna say like is it the babadook but that's not no, no, that's no. a while though. no not with the annoying kid oh my god i hate that kid so much <laughs> i i think it was it was maybe with rebecca ferguson but i'm not a hundred percent sure Hmm. Uh, I have to check it. I I watched it. It was a pretty good movie, but it was it was a bit underwhelming. But I I did understand the message that they are, no, it wasn't her. Uh, they they try to uh uh tell uh with that film. It's not gonna come to me. It's some kind of. It's like the the other house or or. Oh um. um I have no idea. There was a film here called. There's someone inside your house. Uh no, not not the one, not the one. It's it's it, something it, about a house. Something about a manor? No. No. Okay. I don't remember the actress. I'm so bad sometimes with names. Uh, I was just looking up the like horror films twenty twenty one. That's you know, that's a good idea. <laughs> like, yeah, it was just what I was looking at and see if there was anything wait, 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 up there. I, but if if I see the poster, I'm gonna uh uh I'm gonna remember, maybe. Probably. I don't know uh no i'm not gonna remember oh but my they God. dealt with this topic of like yeah of, like it's it's, it's where oh 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 people are haunted right. yeah that yeah that people are haunted and, it, and it's not the house and not the you know whatever mm-hmm. uh but it wasn't even in last year i think it came out last year oh shit yeah shit i don't remember oh well uh i will remember it once we stop recording <laughs> you know i just remembered something Okay. Last weekend, I was totally knocked on my ass from the COVID vaccine. Okay. So I had to get a booster because I had COVID in March earlier this year. Yes. So I had to wait for three months. So the the whole day, I did binge watch a Netflix show. Okay. And it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking mistake. What did you binge watch? Tell me. Resident Evil. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. It's like the, the disappointing. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> but only because you were talking about like um, the horror films that came out recently. Yeah. I just we were, myself and my husband were talking because after watching Resident Evil, which is total, totally not worth your time. I was gonna like say something really derogatory, but I work in the industry. I don't want to be like that was shit. Um, but it was just not worth my time. It wasn't worth my eight hours. Yeah. Um, I lasted two episodes but... and that's it. Yeah. Honestly, I had nothing else to do, and I didn't really know about the crash landing on you thing yet. So I was like, okay, yeah. well, we'll just... that's fine. Um, and I was curious to see, like, is this really going to get as bad as they? Th- yes, it does. Don't even worry about it. It does get worse. <laughs> You're like, this can't get anywhere. It can. It can. And it does. Okay. Um, Good to know. <laughs> but when we were thinking about that, when you were talking about like trying to think about the the film that came out last year, I was thinking, um, myself and my husband were talking about it. We're like, there's so many reiterations of this 
Resident Evil franchise that's like, why can't you just do it right? Like, why can't you just take yeah. the plot of the first game and put it into a series? Like, yeah. it's not fucking hard, friends. Um, but what we thought was, what a great Resident Evil movie probably would have been had they just, like, they could have just spun it this way. But did you see Midnight Mass? Yes. Oh, I love Midnight Mass. Like, that could have easily been something that was, like, Umbrella Corp or whatever. So we were like, damn, we just want Mike Flanagan to do oh, yeah. a Resident Evil series. Oh, like, he would be so good. He would be so good. It would be perfect. And doing that, like, because I think he just, he just horror really, really well. Actually, um, yeah. Yeah, that was what I was thinking. I don't know why when you were looking at it, because I think I was looking at something with uh, the horror stuff that came out last year. Yeah. I don't know if it was Midnight Mass that came out last year, but it was on the It came out stuff. last year, and... Um... <clears throat> Just to plug in, I have to put it in the description as well. Uh, by the time this episode airs, but actually it's happening today. We are recording on Monday. Uh, oh. My Midnight Mess article is coming to Couchsoup. So. <laughs> hey! Uh, I didn't even know that! Yes. <laughs> that was good fucking timing, yep. friends. It was. Wow. It was. That's why wow. I was like... <laughs> I That's know. amazing. Amazing. It's what a amazing show. show. It's such what a, a good show. show. It's such a good show. They've uh, done that so well. I was hooked. Oh, from beginning to end, I was like, yep. Yeah. I mean, Mike Flanagan is just a genius. Let's just put it this so way. So great. So great. I can't wait to watch that. Uh, was it called the, the Fall of the House um, of Usher or something? House yes. Yes. Uh, and then before that, we're getting, uh, I think it's the Midnight Club. Is it? It's coming up this year in October. I didn't know that. Uh, that's going to be the new Mike Flynn again. And then the House of Usher. And then um, that's that's one more that's coming up. Wait, I'm writing Amazing. a I'm, I'm writing oh, an article writing about Mike Flynn again as well. Just about oh, him. Oh, shit. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that Amazing. man. Amazing. I love that man so much. I, I am trying to so reach good. out to him and, and have him on the podcast, actually. I'm oh, like, shit. I want to talk to you. So I want to die in one of your movies or TV shows. <laughs> Yeah, 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 just cast me as the extra that dies. I yeah. will be more than happy to die for you on yeah, set. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look, I have to, I have to protect my title, the Sean Bean of Extras. Sir, yeah, I have to die, bro. I, I don't know. Like, I was fucking, I was praying to be dead on one of the scenes. Like when I was in, um, I was into Into the Badlands. Yes. And I wanted a part, and the I had been cast as an extra first, and then I got an audition, and I was like, shh. And Americans are really, really particular. I don't know if anybody knows anything about um, American filmmaking, but they are super particular. Yep. If your class is an extra, you will not get a part anywhere. Nope. Um, so I was like, well, what if I was dead somewhere? Like I could just be lying on the field and you'd only see the back of my head because then you would never see me. And that could probably open a gate. You think they would let me die? No. They didn't I'd let me die. Running, all sorts of fucking running and jumping <laughs> and martial arting because I did I was a martial arts extra. Um, and I was like, damn, I, uh, there's so much regret <laughs> doing this audition. <laughs> I just because wanted I didn't, to die. <laughs> like, all of the parts were cast. Like, as far as yeah. I knew, all the parts were cast. So I was like, well, I might as well do the martial arts extra thing. Because I had martial arts experience and they needed some people. So I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Like, yeah. they just wanted people to do, like, um, uh, like Boken fighting. Like, yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. with Bokens, the wooden swords. Um, Boken fighting and um, some just kind of, like, hey, be in the background and do some martial arts shit and make it look good. And I was like, no problem, sir. So you just like running through katas and stuff for jujitsu or like that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, which was cool because there's quite a few people of the same kind of martial arts. So there was a few people from taekwondo, mm. a few people from jiu-jitsu, mm. from whatever. So like if you knew a kata that somebody else was doing, you're like, cool, can I help them with you? Because I'll I'll actually do that. So it looks like we're all training together because I, we know that kata. And they're like, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to just be a body in the field. And it's it's a cool I, job. I was denied. I was denied. Friends, um, flat out, like, nope. You have to do. I was like, no, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I could not. No, and that's that's the only role I can take up. Apparently, I'm just I'm just dead in everything. <laughs> like, yeah, just lay down and be dead. And I'm Perfect. Like, no problem. I can do yeah. that, sir. I got you. I got, I got you. you. I'm just, I'm a very professional. That person. I am the <laughs> best at this. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> we already we already said I'm gonna live forever because of this, so you know it's I'm probably good. true. Yeah, yeah. I it's died so true. many times that I'm like at this point you're I'm, immortal. Yeah, I'm immortal. So yeah, you know, yeah. You guys no, have nothing. Standard. On me. <laughs> uh, but yes, Mike Flanagan, if you ever watching this, I want to die in one of your TV shows. Just please, I wish that I could die in a way where Raul Coley just fucking kills me with an eye for something. 
<laughs> I mean, maybe. Listen, shoot your shot, Lily. Fucking yeah. shoot your shot, girl. Might, might have not. Might have not. I'm just you happy to well. just just die by anyone's hands. Because so yeah. far, you know, it was it was like always like uh, just that I just died in the background. Although I think I'm very professional at it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So I think you'd be great. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you. Yeah, You're I welcome. look I look very good <laughs> as a dead person. As a dead person? Yes. Sure. You look great in general, so... Ah, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to die in Stranger Things. That's my next big thing. Oh, and I, my god! I have to hurry with that because it, the fifth season is the last season. I know yeah. they're going to do spinoffs and whatnot, but like, I want to die in the OG Stranger Things. <laughs> in the OG? Here's where... I, like, I, unless they're filming yeah. in Hungary or potentially in the UK where yeah. you can probably go and, and, and do it, you will never like no. they'll never bring anybody over no. from 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 international to no. the state. and i had um i was meeting with a cast and director in like a oh like it's not just like me and me and the cast director, just like a bunch of actors and we're all having a chat with this cast and director and she was from america and she'd done things like et and all this kind of stuff um and crazy good and someone was like do you think international actors have a shot in um american shows films pilots everything she was like absolutely not because it costs way too much money to get somebody who like who, mm -hmm. to get you across the, where i could get somebody in california who might do your job just slightly less better than you could yeah but they would they would still do it great yeah she's like so unless you're a main character like joseph quinn for example he's like unless you're a main character and you have a side card nope there's no way. I was like, oh my God, crushing the fucking dreams here. <laughs> but <laughs> she was just being real. Like she was yeah, being yeah, straight yeah. up real. Um, but the best thing about that is a lot of films are not really uh, filmed a lot in America unless they're using studios. So um, they do film a lot in uh, Eastern Europe, yeah, 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 yeah. in Northern Europe as well as um, South Africa in particular too. So I have a passport for both. If anybody needs me, I'll just uh, I have a South African passport. Bring that up. Just putting it on there. Yeah, just putting it. Crap, pagan. That's it. Just putting that out there if anybody needs me kicked down. I can do Europe. Yeah. Oh, you. uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. European passport is pretty good too. So, uh, yeah. It's all good. good. Yeah. Hopefully they would do though. I feel like the next season could have a lot of different scenery, particularly because of the upside down. Possible. Very possible. Would be nice. Mm -hmm. Would be nice. I yeah. Think, well, I think so. You know, I, I think I would die very very well <laughs> oh my god <laughs> perfect just perfect uh but yeah yeah dreams dream dreams uh hopefully one day you know we both get to live out our acting dreams um yeah. and uh you know i i wanna i wanna do this game with you it's gonna be a oh, short a game. one yeah, yeah, yes yeah, yeah, yeah. because okay, we, okay. we we are we are nearly at at the end uh of this recording but uh i think we still have time for one one short game Okay. No, go for it. Let's let's it's, go. It's I called uh, the silly situation. The silly situation. Yes. Who are you calling silly? Okay. <laughs> Basically, I've never played this, so I will be as clueless oh, okay. as you are. <laughs> okay, this is great. Uh, Good start. But it's it's you know it sounds fun. So the okay. silly situation is that we have to we have to get our acting. Uh, Oh, it's improv. It's improv, basically. Oh, shit. But I fucking suck at improv, but okay. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, no, me too. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, Bring it. But basically, that's going to be a theme that we have to follow. Like, it okay. could be comedy. It could be horror. It can be whatever. And then halfway through, uh, my my watch on the phone is going to go beep. And we have to change. Uh, genre? The genre. But okay. we have to change it in a way that the story has to stay the same. Okay. If that makes sense. Yeah. So you can like flip through rom com and to yeah. documentary to horror in the same story. Basically, yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I thought this is gonna be a quiz, Lily. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for acting. I know. God. Sorry. Okay. That's why I said it's right off. Right. My alley. There, there you go. go. It's there you right go. up your alley. Not up in your alley. Wrong. There you go. Okay. No, wrong. I'm, I'm getting better at this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I need you to pick.
pick a number between 1 and 15. 4. 4. Okay. So, it's going to be... Horror. Horror? Yeah. <laughs> a very own brand. Our very own brand. We are a haunted a channel now, so it's all good. Yeah. So, basically, the situation can be whatever you want it to be. You can start off the situation how you like it. And then I will, as soon as you start talking in character, I'm going to start the watch. And then when it beeps, we have to change. And, you have and to... is it just change random or do you have to pick one again? Uh, I think we can pick like up to three, like say three more number and I will write it up and that's easier. Okay. Okay, go on. Uh, seven. Seven. Eleven. Eleven. And? Seven, eleven, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Okay, seven, <laughs> eleven and ten. And ten. Okay. 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 Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Wrote it up so it should be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, All right, whenever you're ready. Yes. I think it's on. What do you mean? There's somebody in my house. I'm just taking a break. And then I came in here to do some work, and now I hear somebody outside the bedroom. Is he in your husband home? No. What? Oh my god, don't go out. That's like the worst idea. No, That's I, no I, I definitely feel like I need to go out there. And it's dark. We don't have any electricity. Yet. Do you have like a knife or something? Or Absolutely not. No, I have my phone. You And a flash. Okay, okay. But then, then just stay on the line. Okay, well, we also live in the country and there's nobody around for a mile. So. Okay, That's not good. Okay. That's, uh, are you sure you want to go out? I, I feel like that's like, you know, the recipe for dying, basically. I mean, but go out there because somebody come in here and kill me and then I'll be trapped. Shouldn't I try and get Go out on the window then. We live on the third story. Comedy. We live on the third story. What am I going to do? Jump out of there and break my neck? <laughs> well, it's better than, you know, being stabbed to death. Nah, I'm sure she's a neighbor. I'm sure she's a friendly old neighbor. Come in, in your a cup of joe. In your house? Yeah. Did Don't you leave your door open? Well, no. <laughs> that's not normal. That's not what people do. Oh, I feel like that's pretty normal. But yeah, maybe maybe you're right, actually. Yeah, you're you're right. Maybe that's yeah, maybe that just, is a bad idea. Yeah, just jump out of the window and just break your neck. That's better. Yeah, you're right. Okay. I I don't have much of the floor anyway, actually, to be fair. <laughs> um yeah, I got a lot of debt. If at least if I die I die the house will be paid off, you know. Yeah. I mean Yeah. You know, it works. Like there are better things. There are, there are better things out there. You sure about that? I feel like, you know, that's how we die in horror movies. So, like, maybe we should go out. Now I'm changing my mind. I know it's very weird, but maybe we should go out. Yeah, maybe, it is a, maybe it's just a neighbor. Like, honestly, maybe it's just... Uh, maybe. There's someone else there. Okay. Science fiction. Science fiction? Yes. <laughs> I feel like I can hear it. I feel like it's speaking in a language, but I've never heard this language. Do you mean it's like alien or something? I feel like it's like clicking. There's like a green light under. It's very strange. Did they bring the spaceship in your house? I don't know. Do they glow? Do aliens glow? I don't know. I've never seen an alien. Me, me neither. Okay. Uh, Maybe we that... should go. Maybe we should go ask. Maybe we could go down history as the first people who've met aliens. Or maybe we could die. Or yeah, that yes could have happened. Of course. Maybe, wait, we can do the thing that they did in, um, what's that movie? The Mel Gibson movie, the, um, you know, um, Science? Just, yeah, know. with the mirror. Just yeah, with the mirror. Do you have the a mirror? mirror? Okay, 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 okay. I mean, I don't, but I have my phone. I'll just put my phone on. But that's, you know, that gives our lie. They're going to notice that we're just, you know, up to something. Maybe they're not intelligent. How's that possible? They are aliens. Okay. You tell me. Fantasy. Fantasy? <laughs> you picked the numbers. <laughs> Fantasy? I'm supposed to. What am I supposed to do? Draw ears on myself? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I don't know. It kept Fantasy. Like Eddie. Aragorn, is that you? <laughs> Legolas? Is that you? Yeah. 
I'm a, I'm a, an, I'm a friendly. Uh... <laughs> you're you're friendly, Lily. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a friendly. I don't even. I don't think I even watch fantasy other than maybe Lord of the Rings. I mean, that works as fantasy. As Would well. that work as fantasy? Does is that? I think fantasy? so. Yeah, yeah. Let's roll with that. Okay, I feel like the lights must be different for this. Okay. Oh my god, you're gonna change it. Oh, wait, I can do that as well. Oh shit. <laughs> That's horror. We should have done that in the beginning. <laughs> I know. That was an accident. Uh wait. How do I do it? There it is. Okay. Okay. I'm... It should be something like No. Oh, good. Stay. You gather the children and the elves and you get them somewhere safe. You can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this I must. You must protect the realm. But but what if it's dragons? You can't do that alone. With my eyes breath. But quick, you, you go. You run. Magic, your magic is not strong enough. Save the children and the elves. I believe that my magic. All right, all right. I will. I will, and I will tell everyone who Pagan was. <sighs> Remember, I'm always with you. Of course, just fuck off right now. Yeah, just fuck off. Just save us. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and <see. Ta> <laughs> <laughs> That was so professional. It was so professional. I Over know. Zoom as well. It was fun. They have to hire us now. That was our audition tape. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you hear about Pagan? She never worked again. Huh. Weird. <laughs> well, Lily. <laughs> Lily couldn't even yeah, die can... anymore. <laughs> so you can, you know, they were like, fuck off. <laughs> we don't need you. Lily, no. <laughs> don't die. <laughs> but I wanna. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> I didn't even Spare die in horses. this one. And it was a horror. It's like, true. We started at horror and you didn't die. Oh shit! I should have just. I should have gone with you. You're dying. Yeah, and <sighs> it would. It would have been just you uh, doing a monologue <laughs> throughout the whole thing. Yeah, true, true. Because the story had to stay the same. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. There you go. There you go. I'm glad I didn't. Now, thank God. Yeah, it's it's fine. You can kill me. I allow <laughs> you to kill me. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Uh. What? I, I mean, it's a big honor. We can do a movie together, and you can kill me. <gasps> that would be cool. I know. It would be oh. so nice. I mean, look, we have the sources because we have yeah, Leanne we who can direct the movie. I can write the movie. You can star in it. Katie can be the uh, product uh, production uh, assistant? Runner? Runner. Runner. There you go. Um, and then uh, I, I believe we have more actors uh, in our midst uh, in the UK. So, Dude, I think so. Everybody I meet is an actor. We should we should just do an independent film, like even just a we short should one. do an independent film. Oh my god, I'm so gonna get this. <laughs> I'm actually so into that. Like I right? want to write. I want to write a really cool. I'll tell you about my story after. Yes, this. please. But um, I think that we could write um a like a really short film that's mm -hmm. like under thirty minutes or an yes. hour. Yes. Um, film it across two days. We'll just come over to Hungary, or I come over to you because it's easier. Or you come over to yeah, or you come over here. <laughs> And like it just has to be like a really gripping, yeah, story that I think like is probably best done like with horror or the horror genre. Oh my god! Because I just think like that's always gripping, no matter how long yeah. it is. So yeah, like you know, like um, we have the movie. Uh, oh my god! Today my brain is not working, which is not a surprise. It's never working, but <laughs> today in particular, I can't think of movie titles. It's uh, it's the dark web one. What was it called? dark web yeah yeah yeah, yeah. they they talk basically the whole movie was uh recorded through zoom oh yeah i know one that? where it's like someone's gonna kill you through facebook type thing yeah 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 That's yeah, the yeah, one. yeah. That's i remember the one. that movie i mean they did that i think we can manage a horror movie like i come yeah. over there uh we get together like the whole group and then just do it perfect i love it i'm down down i have to Beep! but that's a spoiler now Oh, Damn shit. it, Lily! Fuck! <laughs> or what if you beep? beep. <gasps> Damn it!
damn it there's another spoiler, that's another spoiler. Okay, sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry. like rami malek Beep. yeah <laughs> don't fucking spoil the game I'm fuck. <laughs> cut that out i'm sorry you have to cut that out just bleep it <laughs> i feel just bleep it i just beep and yeah that's just it. put elevator music so that you can still get the reaction okay okay <laughs> that works I can just yeah. beep out what we just said previously about what, what's going to happen with us. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Done. And they just put like writing across the screen that's like Pagan and Lily plot the story <laughs> of a horror short film. That's Perfect. it. You you heard it first, guys. Uh, we're making an independent short horror movie. Yeah, you hear you heard it here first. We're going we're gonna to do it. Like, you don't believe me now. You think I'm joking. But if it's up to me, it's going to happen. Maybe I not this it. year. Well, next year. Oh, horror films, short films in general take ages to plan. So I'm down whenever. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I will. You know I will. Nice. <laughs> I always find you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't escape you, Lily. <laughs> I know. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, uh, Pagan, thank you so much for coming. And oh, being, it's a pleasure. Being Katie. This has been such a wild podcast. I don't know if we stuck on topic for anything. We got. We went so far into the ghost and then the horror <laughs> and then we just circled back into acting it's just it's an awfully convoluted podcast I'm yeah, sorry. yeah yeah that's you know that's why i love having you here so it is <laughs> <laughs> it works. Hey, at least it wasn't a, like a snyder versus lily conversation you know that could have <laughs> happened but it didn't and you're welcome friends <laughs> it's one of our greatest conversation i don't know what you're talking yeah. about <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then you know i'm still proud of that thumbnail because it just pretty great fucking rocks pretty great fucking rocks and if you ever do that reaction video i want to join it <laughs> okay fair i want to join it I fair mean, you did tell me about that person so that's fine I, I will i will i will send you the best ones and then you know you can just decide uh but yes uh tell people where they can find you and then uh, we're gonna fuck off oh me um i'm on twitter at pagan plays on instagram and twitch at pagan underscore plays and on youtube at pagan plays is a space between pagan and plays on and, YouTube, not in real. <laughs> and uh, go and subscribe to Pagan's channel. Uh, yes. She's great. Please. It's very that fun. That would be also good. And, you know, just support her. Like you support yeah. us. That is nice great. people. Yeah. There's also something exciting coming to Couch Soup pretty soon as well. There should be an announcement hopefully this week. So I don't know when this uh, um, podcast goes out. So maybe that announcement has already been made. Um, <gasps> oh, God. But if not, keep an eye out. And then just go to Couch Soup channel and you'll know it when you see it <laughs> amazing amazing you heard it here first unless it's already out <laughs> then you heard it yeah here probably <laughs> yeah 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 then you hear, heard it here like technically i said it first here but yes yeah that's very you heard true. it delayed you just and, heard the echo you know, I, I will link everything down i'm gonna be very good at this <laughs> perfect <laughs> and yeah this was us thank you for joining and we see you next week <laughs> <laughs>